Hello everybody out there. This is an update video of the Eel DIY battery case. Um, so some of you might have seen the video, the update video a few days ago, where I uh, complained about the missing spare parts and um, the package arrived from Eel. So um, what you see right now, this is the third case, which was still uh, here on stock because um, the two balancer boards were missing. I have right now the balancer boards, but I don't have the frames for the balancer boards, the metal frames. And this was uh, an issue not by me, but as Eel explained to me, uh, internal communication mistake. So they will send me um, another pair of these metal rails with the um, balancer boards. Um, what I did right now is I somehow got these balancer boards fixed, but all these solder points are covered with uh, this kind of silicone or whatever this might be. And this is super hard to get um, rid of. So you can see right now a super clean setup and uh, it looks basically like a eel battery uh, from the stock. But what you see here, I don't have... I'm not only having the, the balancer leads from from the cells to the balancer pots, but there is another lead from the same cell combination, which leads to a cable channel, um, which I installed here in the middle on the middle rail. It's a 20 millimeter wide um, cable channel. Um, I don't know how you call it. But yeah, cable rail, cable channel, and um, 20 millimeters wide width and um, I took the whole length and for what is for what are these additional leads these are for the GB I call it GB balancer because this is the original manufacturer but these uh, active balancers with four four amps of uh, balancing current are sold by several uh, by several rebrands uh, like Nee, Heltec. I have the Heltec here, but uh, they don't have any clue about their their um, devices. But you can have of all you can use all these uh, rebranded apps for configuring this. So, what what did I do? First of all, on on the other two um, cases. The balancer at the moment uh, sits somewhere in the housing, loose, not uh, fixed. And um, this is not a big deal because I don't move these cases. But um, it, if you open the case, it looks like a mess. Thousands of wires and uh, the balancers are flying around there without any, any um, screws on it. So what I did right now, I drilled here a hole and I will... Um, explain this in a, in a later video. I drilled here a hole and get all the leads out here. I sorted all the leads in here and um, got all everything or uh, got all the um, leads somehow um, structured a little bit so that they are uh, guiding through this inner uh, cable um, rail channel how, however you want to call it and those are going through this hole outside and I have the whole um, GB balancer outside of the case. Why did, why did I do that? Um, I want to have uh, still the um, option to get this thing disconnected in case of um, tracking issues or whatever. And um, I don't want to open the, the case. The problem is my, my cases, or it's not a problem, but these cases are stacked and I have three of them. And each of them, each of this case has around about 100 to 100 kilograms. I cannot lift those without having a second person in place. So um, that is the main reason. So that's why I have the leads out there. I will do this with the two other cases also. So I have... In every situation, um, in every situation, I can access these balances. I can access the front panel and uh, check 
for issues if there's something happening. Until now, they are they are really in, in good shape and good condition. The other tools are running really good in parallel. Parallel, they are balancing super accurate. The the one and uh, I have two of them uh, in in action or on duty at the moment. But one is connected to a balancer like like this to an active balancer. The other one not. And I can see some voltage differences between the single cells. So the one with the balancer is much more to the point and gets all the cells balanced out by 0 0.003 um, deviation or something like that. Yeah. The other one is maybe higher 0 0 0 uh, 0 1 so 0 0.01 so 10 milli milli uh, volts difference and uh, that one with the balancer is at uh, 3 milli volts um, difference so there is some some difference between uh, having the C plus BMS with the active balancer and without so this video is already six minutes long um, I will stop right now here I will make a more detailed video on the other cases when I upgrade them to this um, latest um, modification with the active balancer. Uh, so don't worry, um, these white rails, these are only covers of uh, cable rails. Um, I only use them right now until I have the right spare parts in place from, from EEL. Um, they are still uh, loose, but I I did some fixation with uh, hot glue <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh, it so far and uh, watch out for my next videos and see you there. Bye.